Good evening, Bonneville RCMP are dealing with a rash of gun thefts in the area, and it seems hunting season is one of the main reasons. Police say more than 10 firearms were stolen from unlocked vehicles since early September. The weapons ranged from rifles to shotguns to even a crossbow. Now, one of the firearms was recovered and had been modified and made smaller. RCMP say this pattern of theft is worrisome and creates a preventable yet serious public safety concern. They were reminding people that even though it is hunting season, firearms should not be left unattended in a vehicle. Well, we're less than a week away until the Grey Cup in Regina and area residents are definitely feeling the football frenzy. But the big game isn't just for fans, it's big for business as well. Bart Pediatric catches up with some local businesses as they prepare for their busy weekend ahead. Here at the Canadian Brew House, things have calmed down after the lunch rush, but bartenders and servers are preparing for another busy night. Staff were watching last week's semifinal game carefully, knowing that a rider win means Saskatchewan fans who are not able to make it to Regina may choose this bar to watch the big game. We had a good, good crowd down for the game and people were hooting and hollering and uh, you know, just talking to people that actually came down said they'd be here for sure. Some of them said they were going to make the, the drive all the way uh, into Saskatchewan, but uh, hopefully most people come in here and have a beer. Owner Tyler Harvey says he's excited for what it means for his bar. Absolutely, anything to bring some extra business and uh, creates a good atmosphere at the bar and everyone has a good time. Pallets of beer are coming off the truck outside as one local liquor store prepares for the heavy influx of fans stocking up for their weekend parties. Stocking up a little bit should add a, a few sales, I would imagine. Rob Tate has seen Grey Cup fever in the city yeah. before, but he expects this time the game will be extra special. This weekend, he's ordered up to 30% more beer than usual, and with the amount of football fans in the city, he expects to sell most of it. I would think so. There's uh, quite a few uh, Saskatchewan fans in the city. And Megan Barron agrees. As the manager of Game On Sports, she's had trouble keeping rider gear on the shelves. She says people are still calling in, looking for hot ticket items. Uh, jerseys mostly, uh, sweaters just because it's getting cold obviously. Um, I don't know what the temperature is supposed to be for Grey Cup. but And then, uh, yeah, just knickknacks like flags. And it's not just for Grey Cup we weekend. Have, like, Barron says rider sales have jumped this season compared to last. It's pretty crazy how many jerseys we've actually sold just throughout the year. Uh, we sold actually sold out of jerseys uh, for a couple weeks and we didn't have jerseys at all. So yeah, it's been very good. As for the brew house, Harvey says his place is ready for Sunday. We're prepared for everything. We had a uh, UFC fight on Saturday and we, we were maxed out. So we can handle whatever this town throws at us. Bart Pediasic, UCAF News. And with all this excitement surrounding the Grey Cup game, RCMP are warning anyone who is looking to buy tickets to be extra cautious. North Alfred police say they see many scams surrounding the sale of tickets online, where the supposed seller will ask you to send them money to them. But once they receive payment, well, you don't receive the tickets. Of course, it's always buyer beware when buying tickets through the general public. Now, if you think you may have been scammed, please ask that you contact them. Well, it's no secret that the cost of housing in Lloydminster is high and the city is looking to help alleviate that pressure. The Community Housing Initiative program was launched by the city last month to help those residents looking to become homeowners. Now, an information session was held last night to answer questions about the program. I'm very excited about it. I don't know how good my odds are, but I'm going to try my darndest. Now, Serena Shudin has wanted to be a homeowner for a few years. She says it's difficult to make a down payment on a house in Lloydminster, but the CHIP program will help make it a possibility. For a first-time home buyer, I think your down payment has to be 5%, so you'd need about $10,000. But then with this program, they have grants that fund the, fund the down payment for you, so your contribution is $2,500. It's going to help transition some folks from rental situations to home ownership situations. Uh, and there's, there's tremendous benefit in home ownership, but as well that'll help to free up some rental units in Lloydminster, and, and as we know that is a, a common concern for folks in our community. Well, the houses are currently in the development stage on the Saskatchewan side of the city. Now, to be eligible for the program, you must be 18 years or older and of moderate income. 
Well, it's Tuesday, which means we throw a spotlight on SPCA animals looking for their forever homes. Now, in this installment, Jenny introduces us to a one year old cat named Tate who enjoys being the center of attention and a Labrador retriever named Walter, who is quite the playful character. Okay, are you ready? Come here, Walter, <laughs> sit. Oh, <gasps> good boy. Stay down. Go up. Down. <laughs> down. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. This is Walter. Walter is a three-year-old Labrador retriever. He is neutered, current on vaccinations, and he'll be microchipped once he is adopted. Walter is a wonderful dog full of playful energy. He loves to go for walks, play tug-of-war, and also play catch. He loves nothing more than to be in your company, and he loves human touch. Walter also shows to be social with cats. He would be the perfect family dog. This is Tate. Tate is a one and a half year old male. He is neutered, up to date on vaccinations, and he'll be microchipped as soon as he is adopted. Tate is a very special boy. He loves to be the center of attention. He begs for you to pick him up and then he'll crawl around on your shoulders. And then if you're lucky, he'll even give you some of his sandpaper kisses. Tate is very social with other cats. We currently have him in our largest cat condo. If you're looking for a social cat to be a part of your family, come and check out Tate. From November 25th to December 1st, the SPCA will be having our Whisker Wonderland event where all spayed and neutered cats will just be $20. Come on down to the SPCA to adopt your next cat. 